scientists at the Quantitative Biosciences Institute at the University of California, San Francisco, have been working nonstop since January. Their goal, identifying existing medications that make human cells resistant to attack by the coronavirus. What we're trying to do is to repurpose those drugs and compounds to uh, help fight this coronavirus infection. It's called host-directed therapy. The host, in this case, is us. First, scientists had to extensively map the virus's genetic code and the parts of human cells that it latches onto. We identified 332 different human proteins that were talking to the approximately 30 different um, viral proteins. So these are proteins that we think the virus needs in order to um, hijack our cells. So from this analysis, we identified 69 different drugs and compounds, 27 of which are FDA approved. Um, and we need to test those to see what effects they have on infection. Unfortunately, labs in San Francisco didn't have any virus cultures to run tests on. That's when the global cooperation kicked in. We broke down silos across different um, parts of the world you know, working with Paris and New York and then also people in England and Seattle and San Diego and, and in China. And we've been shipping them our drugs and compounds uh, and they've been testing these. Dr. Krogan is hopeful an effective drug will be identified within weeks. And since the drugs are already approved, they wouldn't have to undergo a lengthy testing process. Instead, they could be available for patients right away. The example of urgent, cross-border, multidisciplinary scientific collaboration is a model for fighting future outbreaks, Dr. Krogan says. When the dust settles on COVID-19, I would love to see us put in an infrastructure where we can move quickly across the board, you know, breaking down these silos so that we'd be in a better position to tackle COVID-22 or COVID-24 or another virus. There are millions of trillions of viruses on Earth and far fewer scientists. Given those odds, all experts must work together for the sake of humanity. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.